Hello students, this is your English lesson. Students, today we are going to read a poem with the title No, written by Thomas Hood from Oxford Modern English 7. Let's get started. First of all, I will tell you the summary of the poem. This poem is written by Thomas Hood. In this poem, the poet has described the weather condition in the month of November. According to the poet, November can be seen as a negative and dark period because it lacks certain positive elements of humanity, sunshine and growth of any kind. The poet says that during the month of November, everything seems cut off from nature. As there is complete silence, no sound at all. Heavy snowfall has covered everything as roadways, the park, houses, even the faces of people walking in the streets. There is no traveling due to blockage of roads and streets. There are no mail deliveries and no ships arriving with news from foreign countries. So the poem depicts the idea of isolation and lack of positivity. Now we will read the poem together. This is page number 14 from your book. No sun, no moon, no moon, no noon, no dan, no dusk, no proper time of day, no sky, no earthly view, no distance looking blue, no road, no street, no other side the way, no end to any row, no indications where the crescents go, no top to any steeple. No recognitions of familiar people, no courtesies for showing um, no knowing um, no traveling at all, no locomotion, no inkling of the way, no notion, no go by land or ocean, no mail, no post, no news from any foreign coast, no park, no ring, no afternoon gentility. No company, no nobility, no warmth, no cheerfulness, no healthful ease, no comfortable feeling in any member, no shade, no shine, no butterflies, no bees, no fruits, no flowers, no leaves, no birds, no amber. Now come to the exercises. A. Understanding the poem. Answer the following questions. A. In what way is the title of the poem? A good one answer the title is a good one because it is reflected in every line of the poem including the last line in which the poem is summarized by yet another no word November November is in the autumn season when summer has come to an end and nature is preparing for winter the negative no tells us that everything is coming to an end as far as plants are concerned. B. Is there a rhyme scheme to the poem? Answer. There is no regular rhyming pattern. Some of the lines are rhyming couplets, but this is not constant. We could break it up like this. A A B C C B A A B B C C D D D A A B B C B C D C C D C Which words in the poem tell us about the following? 1. Times of day Times of day Morn, noon, dawn, dusk Proper time Afternoon 2. Roads Roads, street, to other side, the way, row, crescents, way, ring. Three, motion or interaction. Motion or interaction, indications, recognitions, 
courtesies, showing, knowing, traveling, locomotion, inkling, notion, go mail, post, news, cheerfulness, healthful, ease, comfortable, feel. 4. Weather conditions or geographical features. Weather conditions or geographical features. Sun, moon, sky, earthly, view, land, ocean, cost, park, warmth, shade, shine. Fifth, living creatures and plants. Living creatures and plants. People, company, nobility, member, butterflies, bees, fruits, flowers, leaves, birds. These questions are more difficult. Discuss them first. D. How would you describe the general picture painted by the poet? Is it a cheerful one? Answer. The poem describes a month, November in late autumn in which there are a lot of negatives indicated by no the poet describes this season as being one without warmth or cheerfulness it has none of the other aspects that feature in some other months of the year however he does this in a cheerful way so the poem is not depressing or sad e do you think the poet has a good sense of humor why answer although the poem is full of negative statements the poet still manages to make it sound fairly cheerful the rhyming couplets, the use of the same word to start each line and the pace at which the poem moves all help to make it cheerful. The last line shows he has humor. 2. Answer the following with reference to context. A. What is meant by till other side the way? Answer. It literally means the other side of the road. B. Why do you think the phrase no go is put in inverted commas while others e.g. no mail are not? Is there any an other expression in inverted commas? Answer. No go is in inverted commas because it is what was said by the transport authorities. The other phrase are not quotes except for to other side of the way which is in inverted commas because it is a quite of colloquial phrase. See what does the ring refer to answer. The ring is a circular chorus in Hyde Park in London, used for riding and driving. D. Comment on the phrase no afternoon gentility. Answer. Gentility refers to people who are courteous and well-mannered and who also being to the upper classes. When out walking, such people would greet each other. This is not evident at this time because it is November and very cold. So nobody is out walking and greeting or talking to each other. B. Working with words. One, find words in the poem which may be described in the following way. A. The star at the center of the solar system. The sun. B. The Earth's only natural satellite, the moon. C. Appropriate or correct, proper. D. The first appearance of light in the sky as the sun rises at the beginning of the day, dawn. E. 
signs or signals indications indications as well known commonly seen or heard easily recognized familiar g the perception that somebody has been seen before and is known recognition h a vague idea or suspicion about a fact person or event inkling i contented and relaxed comfortable j limb member k an insect of the order lepidoptera butterfly l heat affection friendliness warmth c learning about language number 1 can you arrange the pronouns in the list on page 16 into two columns one for singular and the other for plural pronouns singular each everyone none not one one this and other no one that nobody plural both all those some others these two underline the pronouns and say whether they are used as subjects or objects and whether they are singular or plural a they wanted to help the villagers here they plural subject b asim said he would give them some wood here in this sentence he is singular subject and them is plural object c david's sister came with us here us is plural object d she asked ahmed to contact me she singular subject and me is singular object e i have never met the prime minister here i is singular subject f do you know him you singular or plural subject him singular object g i wonder where she has put the basket i singular subject she singular object subject she singular subject h it was under the chair a minute ago it singular subject thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like